Hello everyone and welcome back to another Manic Monday. Today we are on part 4 of Nancy Drew Ransom of the Seven Ships. At the end of part 3 we left off here in the sailboat. We had dove down and found the chest that looked like it had some kind of Sudoku puzzle in colors instead of numbers on it. So after all of that and everything when we couldn't figure it out we ended up leaving off literally just right here. I did figure out the Sudoku puzzle, uh, so we're going to go ahead and, I think, dive down. Yeah. Use our metal detector again to get back over here, because I don't exactly remember where this thing was. Wait, 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 wait. Right click. Okay. That is not it. That is a canister. that again. Right here. There it is. Okay. Normally with a Sudoku puzzle, you can't have any numbers in the same spot. In this case, however, you can't have any one color in the same spot. Which one I was on for a minute. So since this we put this purple one here, purple can't go in either of these two spots, but it can go in one of these two spots. Therefore, it can't go here, and it can't go here, so it has to go in one of these two. So it can't, since we put that purple one here, it can't go in these two, and this purple one's here, so it can't go in any of these three. That one would have to go right there. Now we're on six. Skip down to nine for just a minute. Work our way up this time.
pieces and goes right there. Okay, another one of those pieces and whatever this is. And oh my gosh, we have got to get back up to the surface. I'm not sure if we'll be able to though. That's what the issue was last time is I could not figure out how to get back up to the surface. And it didn't end too good. I, I can't get over there. Why? <laughs> well, I guess let's just go ahead and dig up this, whatever this is. Probably nothing, because we already found what we needed to down here. I want out. Okay, so in my search of how to figure out how on earth to get out of here, I thought we had to go up. Turns out have to go this way. So, somewhere? No? How? There. Right here. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. Go. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's right here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was, that was something. Now that we're back on the surface, Let's check our task list. Okay, we haven't figured out what to do with the dials yet. Take a really good look around at the round brass mechanism I found in that chest and see if it might somehow help me decode the rest of El Toro's book. Since the chest I found is too heavy to bring to the surface, I'll just have to open it where it lies. Did, Did that. that. Dive down to the shipwreck and dig up the iron chest El Toro wrote about in that book. All done. Did that. Okay, follow the directions in the book, the ones that we can read. All done. Okay, I guess that led us, that's what led us to the chest. Okay, we haven't found the sea urchin yet. We haven't figured out how to avoid the monkeys on the, throwing the rocks down the cliff. We haven't found the battery for the bat detector. Okay, I guess we're going to start on, start doing those things. Um, I don't know where we would go to exactly to try to find a sea urchin though. It's kind of something we need to do. Look at the round glass mechanism. Okay, let's just go back to uh, where George is and see if we can talk to her and see what we can figure out from that. Oh, after are we stuck? Okay. Here, cool. So let's go back up here. Oh, I haven't forgotten. We are keeping an eye on you. One false move, and you'll never see your friend again. Oh my. Okay, yeah, let's talk to George now. We are definitely not alone on this island. Are you all right? You sound weird. I've been hearing footsteps, like people creeping around outside. They're always gone by the time I go to look, but after a while I'll hear them again, and it's starting to get to me. Does it sound like several people, or just one? Several people. Maybe it's the kidnappers. Look, even if it is, and you still don't know that for a fact, you can't let it stop you from working on that phone. Calling for help may be the only way we're going to get off this island. You're right. I'm acting like an idiot. From now on, no matter what I hear outside, I'm just going to ignore it and focus. Although if you could somehow make the noises stop, I'd really appreciate it. I followed the directions on the kidnapper's note and dug up El Toro's old journal. Does it tell you where the treasure is? I think so. You think so? The problem is, the journal's in code. I decoded some of it, but not all of it. Always a catch. I keep finding dials all over the place. Do you think they're important? I hope so. Because despite their cumbersomeness, you feel strangely compelled to collect them. 
You know, Nance, if this detective stuff doesn't pan out, there may just be a career for you in trash collection. <laughs> Very funny, George. I figured out how to work the sailboat so I can get to all the places mentioned in El Toro's journal. I've never been big on sailing. All those ropes and winches and halyard things. But you know who absolutely adores sailing? Bess. I mean, getting kidnapped is bad enough, but missing out on sailing in the Bahamas? Boy, is she gonna be ticked. In order to follow the clues in El Toro's journal, I've had to do some scuba diving. Scuba diving? Are you nuts? With all the sharks around here? George, contrary to what the movies would have you believe, sharks rarely attack humans. Especially when they live in a healthy ecosystem like this, where they have lots of real fish to eat. If I don't bother them, they're not going to bother me. Are you sure? Positive. Well, still... If a shark gets too close, you just pretend it's one of the kidnappers and punch it right in the nose. Did you know you can play games with the monkeys here on the island? I read that they were taught to play games. You've actually played a game with them? And won, although it wasn't easy. They even gave me a prize, which turned out to be something they'd pilfered. They steal things, huh? Wonder what human taught them that. We both better keep working. See you, Nance. I wonder if George would be brave enough to punch a shark in the nose. I would not. George is a dumbhead! George is a dumbhead! <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> uh, let's see. It just so happens I have a guava here, so how about a hint? Treat first! Treat first! Cuckoo what? Treat first! Don't make me regret this. She is a messy eater. Mm, mm, mm. Tell your troubles to Coco. <laughs> Let's see. I know what a box move from top of the rocks. I think what we have to do to get the monkeys to move. For some reason, I feel like we have to find the battery to the bat detector thing. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the round thing I found in that underwater box. Astrolabe is its name. Decoding books is its game. Line up symbols, two letters, till no nonsense remains. Okay, so it's called an astrolabe. So... Thanks, Cuckoo. Don't mention it. Let's go ahead and take a look at that then. Where... Where'd it go? There it is. Oh. Do, oh. Do we not have to move anything around? Okay, so now that we have, uh, I already forgot what this is called, uh, but I took a picture of this, it has the symbols on the outside and the corresponding letters on the inside. So now if we go into the journal, we can actually now click on this to decode the rest of it. Or try to. Uh, however... That symbol on the dial looks like the word all, but that's not gonna, we can't put a L. Oh, wait. Ahaha. <laughs> yes, we can. But that doesn't make, that already just looks like it doesn't, it's not gonna make sense. Uh, F is G. Or what looks like an F. This symbol is, what is that? O L. And then this symbol is an S. This one is L O. That carrot it's is totally awesome. Still doesn't look like it's gonna make sense. Or I'm just not looking at it right. We'll figure it out. I think this is O U. Okay. Well, now that makes sense. The word devour? <laughs> that looks like the only one that's going to make sense. <coughs> See, what is... You 
Uh, oh, here it is. P U L. And the symbol that looks like another one is the word N. And this one. Oh, no. Whoa, it's still right expensive here. here. B L. Hmm. Okay. Something about this is not right. That looks like it's supposed to be all. F is a G. That symbol is O L. Okay. And then S. R. Are we forgetting something somewhere? Or is it just still not going to make sense? He friended one of the families of bats that call this island home. They're something. And winged antics provide much needed laughter for my men as the creatures devour. Totally that awesome. makes sense. And then I tried to our blank, but that symbol. It smells funny. And we might just have to come back to this. Well, we've got a few of them. Like looks to like. off your feet. Okay, what's something else that we can do right now, maybe? Still have to do oh. that. Well, let's just look at this again. Is there something that we're not doing that we're supposed to do? So we couldn't ask George, I noticed, about a battery for the bat detector. Let's go and see if we can find that Johnny guy, I think his name is. And ask him, oh, wait, I'm supposed to go this way, ask him about one. Okay, yeah. What is it now? Would you by any chance have a 9-volt battery that I could have? I do, but if you want it, you must earn it. While fishing from my boat, I lost a beacon which I must have to navigate. I am pretty sure it became snagged on some rocks as I passed by and was pulled off. By the time I realized it was missing, the monkeys had damaged my boat and I could not go back out. And so you must retrieve it for me. Sail directly northwest from this beach until you see the two sharp rocks. If you sail between them, you are sure to find my beacon. I can do that. Then the battery will soon be yours. Didn't we already see that at some point and we just couldn't get it? Let's go and find out. Okay. Can we go this way? Oh, we can. Awesome. So, if we go around down this, this way, right over here, I believe, is close to the beach. This is right here, is so, it? Oh, no. Nope. Wait, maybe. I don't know. That box looked familiar. Did he say? So, so directly northwest from where he was at. No, he's over here. Oh, 
Oh, there's... Wait, that's a buoy. Don't run into it. Goodness. <coughs> Till we find the two empty sharp rocks. That's the thing that could cause us to wreck. That's a box. Okay, so... It should be around here somewhere. That was a whale. It was a terrifying whale. We're at the edge, though. I don't know. Unless it's up here somewhere. Ah. Is that a pointy rock? Yeah. It's right here. There we go. I thought... Oh, shark. I thought that was something that we were going to be able to pick up. Now we gotta find that. Ah, well. Get, get back over here. <laughs> Where it's safe. Eventually, we'll be able to pick up some good wind. Or not. Because now we're kind of. Oof. Okay. Where do we. Did I pass? Where was. No, it's right here. Come on. Okay, now we can go back to Johnny and give him the beacon. Come on. Okay. What is it now? I retrieved your beacon for you. Here you go. Good. And here is your battery. Thank you. That is all? No more questions. Goodbye. You're back Oops. so soon. My mistake. There we go. Oh. Oh, I can't click on him. He's cute. Okay, so now we have the battery. So we can put the bat detector together. Check. All done. Uh. Can't check uh, that off yet. I know we haven't done that yet. So the battery and the bat detector. Looks nope. like this thing needs a battery. Can we turn it around? Look, okay. Battery, bat detector. Cool. We have it now. Now, let's go back to uh, the resort and look at the bat information again. Okay. Is it? Yeah, here it is. Local bat frequencies. Brown bat. Well, Krollmeister hertz. Okay. Buffy flowers. Eighteen. Waterhouse. Waterhouse's leaf nose is sixteen. Jamaican fruits twenty-two, and Cuban fruit eating is twenty-four. So now I think what we'll do. Oh, there's mention of Summer June. Uh, I think what we'll do now, though, is we'll go back to the cliff and try to determine which bat is in which cave on the cliffs. Okay, <clears throat> we're back here at the cliffs. Let's check our task list again. All done. Can't check that off yet. Okay. Did that. So I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. So we can reach the bat caves. Oh. Oh wait, do we have to find the sea urchin first before we can even try this? Let's see. Let's see, here's one of the bat caves. Oh, okay. Nancy Drew calling George Fane. Oh, Come in, George. Over. This is George. Talk to me. Over. Nothing much to report, over. Same here, but stay in touch. You too. Over and out. Did we just switch to George? What does she have? Oh, nothing. Detective okay. Drew, this is George. You out there? Over. This is Detective Drew. Anything to report? Over. Not really, no. Over. Then it's back to work. Over and out. Oh, now we started back at the bottom of the cliff. So, I guess that means that we're going to end up playing as George eventually? I'm not sure. 
Oh no. Oh, what? Oh, wow. We still managed to get here. Okay, let's not click on the walkie talkie again. Okay, so we have 12, 18, 16, 22, and 24. So we're currently on 18, so it's not Buffy Flower that's here. 22. Okay, are these the Jamaican fruits? Okay, I guess these are the Jamaican fruits. Okay, I do not know what good this does us, to be honest. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this information, if anything, yet. We can get up ah higher. Oh wait, is this I think this is one over here. <coughs> oh, we walked right into that. Let's see. Oh, barely missed that one. George, it's Nancy. Oh my goodness, Are I you did there? It again. Over. <laughs> I'm here, Nan. Got something? Over. No. Okay. We're back at the cave. <laughs> so it's not Jamaican fruit. We already found that one. So Let's see. Okay, it's not the Cuban fruit eating. Okay, this one is the brown bat. Let's see. Grass mechanism. Let's just start at the bottom and scroll our way up. Okay, figure out how to avoid the rocks those pesky monkeys keep throwing down at me so I can reach those bat caves. Find a sea urchin better known as a ball to the monkeys. Okay. I mean, we could either go ahead and get the, try to find the sea urchin or we can just avoid the rocks. I really don't know what good it's going to do us right now to find the bat, to search the bat caves. But... I didn't mean to go back in there again. Ouch. Oh, oh no. Okay. Almost is kind of looking like we're going to have to try to find this sea urchin. Oh, here's another cave. Please don't hit me with a rock. Please. Okay. Well, we still made it to the cave. I almost hit the walkie-talkie again. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not the brown bat or the Jamaican fruit bat. Let's see, is this going to be a water house? Water houses? Leaf nose. No. It's not a buffy flower either. Okay, is it the Cuban fruit eating? It is. <clears throat> okay. So let's go. I guess. Oh, that helped. <laughs> Had to go down a little bit. Is this another one that we haven't done yet, maybe? Oh, we almost got hit by another rock. So now we have 16 and 18 left. Oh no, it's neither one of those. So we've already found this one. So was this the Jamaican fruit bat? Okay. <clears throat> so we've already been here. Let's go down and not that far down. Okay. Well, you know what? Let, let's go down. Let's see what we need to do to try to find the ball. Oh, I kind of wanted that one to hit. Let's go see back to the resort and see if we can get that kind of a hint from Cuckoo. I didn't mean to do that. Or that. Okay, we're back here at the resort. Let's talk to Cuckoo. Ah, Nancy Drew, what's up with you? Oh, no, we can't ask Cuckoo another, uh... Well, ciao another for hand. now. Toodles! Okay. Let's go here. Let's, there we go. Okay, oh, no, that didn't do anything to get to. One full tank of air coming up. That did. <clears throat> I want to go.
go back to that watering hole where we had to pull up the, or fix the pulley system. Okay, and I wanted to go here because for some reason I keep thinking that we can dive in here, but we cannot. Okay, looking at this, we're going to do a thing. And this is the thing we are doing. We're diving back down. Because, I think, aha, the sea urchin got one. Now we can go back to the cliffs and give the sea urchin to the monkeys. And now we're back at the cliffs. And now we're at the top of the cliffs. No? I need for you guys to either scoot over or just plain scoot, okay? <laughs> there it is. Oh, look how happy they are. Okay, let's see. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Oh, did we get a new task? Climb back up the monolith and give the monkeys a sea urchin. Check. Oh, well, we did that. Okay, that is actually going to be the end of this part here. In the next part, we will start off by trying to figure out what this is, try to finish decoding all of this nonsense, all four or five pages we have of it. And what other tasks did we have? Oh yeah, figure out what we need to do about the bat caves too. If you all enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like before you go, and leave a comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!